is happening? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. So some dude went running this way, and we are going to check out the situation. Although, Happy's been freaking burned here forever. I just did actually use a potion to get him back to full. So I actually have a nice little burn heal, and we're going to use that to get rid of your burn, buddy. So we're looking good to go. There's probably going to be some crazy uh, Team Solar and Lunar shenanigans going on. So let's check out what's happening down here as we run into a heckin' wild Pokemon. It's just a Golemo, and we don't want anything to do with Golemo because you ugly as hell, boy. You know what? Actually, I think that was a legal encounter for me to catch, but, you know, we're, we're past that. Here's my friends. Wait, Hayden. They are over there. What is that? Okay, look at it. It's our, it's our freaking red-haired friend. Hey, Rex, I'm Rich, the brother of Rassic City's Dragon Master, Lizzie. I challenge you to a battle. Lizzie's little brother. Ah, yes. Rich, was it? No, it's Rick. <laughs> he doesn't even remember. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. I have no time to talk. I'm gonna battle right now. I'll show you my family, no, everyone, that I'm strong enough to beat you. I really don't have time, but how about this? You go battle your sister, and if you beat her, I'll happily accept your challenge. <laughs> Get clowned on, buddy. Wait, that's Rex. He's in the Elite Four. Huh? Who are you three? Never mind, I have no time to talk. I'm searching for some people in strange uniforms. I sure have. Actually, maybe not in here. Was it Rex that went running? What? Do you mean Team Solar and Team Lunar? You've heard of them. Yeah, so we've encountered them a few times. Yeah, we're kind of experts in dealing with these clowns. Professor Pinewood, really? He has to, uh, then he has to trust you. Will you help me find them, please? I sure will. What was that? Oh, we form a nice little single file line, and... Everybody's here. Oh my god, okay, they're just all chilling at the stone. We both have what we want, so how about you and your little minions disappear, Derek? We may both have the crystals we need, but you have the Volt Stone, and we need of it. Hand it over now. You really think I would just hand it over because you asked? And who do you think you're talking to? Do you think I would be stupid enough to bring it here with us? Yeah, dummy. Thought you were smarter than that, Derek. Yeah, freaking Derek over here just asking dumb questions. Nice haircut too, buddy. Never mind. We have what came, what we came for. Yeah, but be sure, Starla, this isn't the last time we meet. Met. <laughs> we'll get that Volt Stone from you. I highly doubt that, but that's all for now. There's no point in continuing this conversation. Come on, Bright, Gloria, let's go. Stop. The freaking police are here. Rex is not playing any games. He has a scar on his face. Who are you? Wait, you're Rex of the Elite Four. What do you want? Oh, and he has those meddling brats with him. This will be easy. There are more of us. Let's take them out. This is where you kids meet your end. Okay, uh, we're going to have some crazy shit going on. They want a battle. We'll give them one. You four, help me out. Battle the commanders. I will deal with the, other, with the two leaders. Okay, cool. Well then, we get to battle Gloria, who looked like a damn white walker with his blue-ass eyes. All right. So this is Solar Commander Gloria. She has three Pokemon and she leads with a Papyro, which is something we have not seen before. Look at this little lad. Okay. Uh, it's level 43. We could probably give you a little Bulldoze. Uh, assuming you're just pure Fire type. I think we have a good matchup here. Um, let's go for a Spiky Shield actually first, just to see what this thing wants to go for. And, uh, oh, Jesus, it has Zen Headbutt. That, see? That is why we have Spiky Shield. Perfect. So now, we can just predict that and go right into Dracula. We be Wi-Fi battling out here, boys. Predict the Zen Headbutt again? Why did he have Zen Headbutt? My god. Did not expect that from this little lad. Okay. Um, now we can just go ahead and give you a little uh, little acrobatics. How about that? Please die. Doesn't quite knock it. Now it has Dazzling Gleam? My god. That does over half. This thing is prepared for everything I have. What the fuck? Hide the move pool you got there. Okay, well, we'll finish it with a, with a crunch. Yeah, that's gonna do the trick. We get actually quite a bit of health back from Bloodthirst, which is cool. But, alright, one down. Papyro be dead as hell. Next is a Deer Ferno. Um, so that is the... I don't think we've seen a Deer Ferno, but we have seen the Fire Deer before. Let's go into Happy here. I think that our best bet is probably just to hit it with a nice hard-hitting Scald. Even though we were neutral to Fire, I think we'll be okay here. Alright, Happy. There's Deerferno, looking like a badass. We'll just go ahead and throw some hot water. It has double edge for me. Okay. Oh my god, that hurt. It does luckily damage itself with the recoil. Does the skull knock it out? Level 47. This thing is fucking a beast. I'm actually really glad that I'm at the level I am. We don't have very many badges to be at level 50, but Jesus. Okay, well that knocks it out. Next is a Cabalta. Alrighty then. Uh, Cabalta. I think our best matchup for that thing is probably Marvin. We can go for a nice little hard hit and Psy Shock there. Probably our best bet, because I think we can take any attack this thing wants to throw at us. So, 
Uh, sulfuric spray. No idea what the hell that is, but we're just going to side shock and hope that this does enough. Sulfuric spray. Okay, we can take those at least. How many more of these people am I going to have to battle? Okay, damn, that did not knock it out, but we can take at least one more hit. I hope, right? We're just going to go for... Okay, acid spray. So... Doesn't do much, it does lower our special defense harshly, but it's a little bit too late there, Cabalta, because you dead as hell now, buddy. Alright, that was a little bit spooky. Art order, rule over Rikoto. She's looking sassy. Ugh, you stupid kids really make me mad. It's not important if we win or lose, we have the legendary crystals. That was the one and only time it will help you with Team Lunar. Now we'll get all five elemental stones together and revive Solaran and bring our new order to the region. We'll make sure you don't get that far. When we get the stones and Lunara will bring our chaos. This is not the end. Our mission will succeed. Smokescreen. Okay, so I guess we're done with that, but that was pretty wild. We'll take more than a member of the Elite Four and some brats to stop our plans. Flash. And then they, <laughs> so they flash. All right. Um, cool. This isn't good. What the hell happened? We still beat them. But what are these crystals they're talking about? May have won the battle, but we haven't stopped their plans. We won the battle, but not the war. The crystals. We shouldn't talk here. I'll head back to Rassic City. Meet me in the ancient museum. I'll tell you what I know about them there. But first, go ahead and snag this thing. Looks fancy. Looks expensive. They didn't take this crystal. They must not think it's important, but I think it may be useful to us. Nothing more you can do now. Thank you for all your help. You're all very talented trainers. Maybe one day we'll battle at Rikoto League Village. A battle, that's what I want. I don't care about the crystals and these stupid organizations. This guy, I gave him the hand so many times, and now he wants to battle an Elite Four, remember? Like, bruh. I will beat you, Rex, and I'll show the world how strong I am. I'll go defeat my sister, and I'll show you, Rex. This guy, I don't know about this guy, man. For you three, catch you later, losers. Also, he's a freaking bully. He really has a fire in him. Again, thank you for your help. Wait a second, I'll heal all of your Pokemon. Thank God. We definitely needed that. Um, it looks like we're pretty close to getting to the next city, though, now. So that should be fun. Have to do some research. Meet me at Ancient Museum in Rassic City. Alright, so that's where we're headed. Go and do some museum stuff. This is all getting too deep for me. We should leave this to Rex and the Elite Four. Or even anyone stronger than us. I think so too, Kira. But what if they need help? We shouldn't run away. Wouldn't it be horrible if we backed down and those evil teams succeed? Sure would. I guess you're right, Rodney. Alright, I'll do it. That's the spirit. We'll beat them. The world is in our hands. Not gonna battle Lizzie, though. Really don't like dragons. Even if it's not a proper gym, it's still I'll still battle her. How about you, Hayden? You too? I knew it. I sure will. How about a training battle in Rassic City before we battle Lizzie? It'll be a good warm-up, okay? So at least he gives us a warning that we're about to have a damn battle with him at this city. While you guys go do that, I'll go to the ancient museum and look around. See you later. See you later, Hayden. Alright, so we are finished with that. Now we just have to, I assume, just go up from that entrance area. And then we're going to get to Rassic City, where apparently we have a rival battle. We also got to battle the dragon person, and that should be that should be a fun time. I, uh, I hope that Happy is good enough. I really wish I had the TM for Ice Beam. That seems like that would be quite helpful. But uh, let's actually kill this Dracubat, because it seems like we might actually need a little bit more experience than we already have. I thought I was overleveled, but it seems... Like we're actually in a pretty good spot. So many damn wild Pokemon. I don't have any more repels left, I don't think. But we will get Donna another level here. Why not? We're already 46. So we're sitting... Oh, accidentally just used Bulldoze on a flying type. And your boy just fat-fingered A. Just out here mashing hard. At least these things died to my poison jab. Thank you, sir. Some well-deserved experience. Almost 47. Um, also, what is... Ron just sitting at 45. We should probably... Probably put you in front. Don is close to 47. We're going to put Ranja in front for now. Especially with Flamethrower. Now we got some... Uh, I don't, actually don't even know if I showed that. We got our buddy Ranja. I had the TM for Flamethrower. I'm actually not sure if I mentioned this already. But uh, yeah, we got some pretty sol solid dual stab there with Shadow Ball and Flamethrower. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Ranja hits really hard. Let's go ahead and uh, test it out on this here Dracubat. Why not? We're also close to level 46. So we're keeping up there with the team. I feel like having everybody around level 50 is kind of the standard for this point in the game, which you would not expect. It seems like we are over level, but I don't I don't think we really are. My god, I could your boy could use some more repels. Please, God. Okay, we're not even gonna battle the Golemo. Get out my damn way. Are we close to the exit? Ooh. Apparently just some trainers. Some strange ruins, don't you think? 
I sure do. There was just some crazy shit that went down over that way. You probably heard the heard the carnage. Got a blitzy glow. Um, so we can just go ahead and probably just give you a shadow ball. This thing is fire type. I for some reason want to think that this is electric type, but I think it's fire electric actually. That makes sense. Well, one more shadow ball gonna do the trick, and we took a lot of damage from that. Ranja, you're pretty frail, but that's okay, buddy. Next is a Dracubat. Um, this thing does probably have a dark move, so we're actually gonna switch here. Let's let Donna take care of it. Sparkly girl. Hacking Dracubats all over the place. Learn how to evolve. I mean, you have to do it at nighttime or whatever, but you know. It's worth it, because Dracubat, I remember when I got that thing, I wasn't planning on even using it, but it turns out that it's a really good Pokemon. And it has helped us immensely. Ooh, and there's also a Pokeball there. So just one random trainer for us, which is interesting. And it looks like, is that the exit, or, or do I... What's going on here? Found ourselves a Dusk Ball, which is cool. And can I exit here? I sure can. And, uh, all right. So back at the Ancient Pass, and we have ourselves a double battle, it seems. Um, Ranja's a little bit hurting. Let's actually just stick Donna back in front because we're a little bit more bulky with that. And I think we'll be okay. Let's also put Charlotte there. Donna and Charlotte, I think, should be able to handle it. Can't quite get that item yet. Look how strong my Dragon-type Pokemon is. My Wingon is well-trained. Let me show you. Okay, got a Wingon. I'm assuming that's a cool Dragon-type. Some Ace Trainers. These guys are always scary. Got a Wingon and a Wingon. So, double Wingons. Probably not the best to have Charlotte out here, because I assume this thing's flying type. It's got a wing in its freaking name, so let's poison jab you. And then we'll switch into Happy here, who seems pretty fitting for some dragon matchups. But this thing actually looks pretty damn cool. It reminds me of, like, how to train your dragon, which is pretty fitting. Um, so that poison jab just about knocks it out. Gale Rush. And another Gale Rush. He's double teaming me, huh? Okay, so now we'll just finish... Uh, you off with that, and then we can go ahead and Aurora Beam you. This thing seems like it would have a cool evolution, but it's already level 44, so I don't know if it would even evolve any further. Who knows? Aurora Beam should do the trick, assuming you're a flying dragon type. That's going to do it. Sayonara, bucko. Some solid experience all around. You're an ace, too. You know what? That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Thank you. Okay, so now we got this... Uh, this hiker lad here, we're probably good to just leave you in front. What's happening, buddy? I wonder why the ancient civilization built these walls. What's your opinion? Who knows, man? They just wanted some shit to do, I guess. Cosmet. Okay, is this the thing that we can't bulldoze because it has levitate? I'm doing pretty bad at remembering what the hell these things do. Ooh, we actually... That's like the first time we've gotten the poison with Poison Jab. I was going to Ancient Power. I'm pretty sure this thing freaking levitates, doesn't it? Could just poison jab it one more time. It'll it'll be it'll be fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna do that. Quick guard. Protected the opposing team, huh? Well, that's not gonna save you here because my poison damage comes in clutch. This thing seems like something that would have aftermath. A little pokey boy. That's fine. Next is a golemo. We're just gonna stay in on a golemo. Level 42. So at least we're we're at a good enough level for these like these trainers. Don't have to be too scared with Don here, as this thing actually lives it. Golemo, you defensive, boy. He's gonna mean look me, though, so that's, that's totally fine. Can no longer escape. I can escape through killing you. And that's what I'm gonna do. See you later. Gonna grow to 48 here, so... Don to be growing quickly these days. Finley's been defeated. This guy just took a puff of, a, of something. Okay. Um, we can grab this here item. Better be something good. Ooh, TM71 for Stone Edge. That is pretty damn good. We gotta take a look at our TMs here. I've, I've been kind of neglecting the TMs, but let's kind of start from let's start from the bottom, shall we, and see what we're working with. Um, so we just got Stone Edge. If we go all the way from the bottom here, what do we, man, I have a lot of TMs. We have Wild Charge, Solar Claw, two turn attack. Hey, nobody fuck with that. Okay. Um, for the most part, Wild Charge kind of sucks because it damages us. We have Axe Scissor, which we've already used. We have Lightning Strike as well. Um, Bulldoze, heckin'. I think Stone Edge could be pretty useful for us, although Stone Edge misses like fucking 80% of the damn time. We could teach it to Happy and Donna. I think Donna seems like it would be pretty fitting for you to have. Let's see what we could get rid of here. 
I guess I could get rid of toxic spikes to be honest. I haven't used them, and I think having coverage with Stone Edge would probably be better. We're going to do that. Now Donna can Stone Edge some stuff. We can do good against Flying types, so that's pretty nice. What else are we working with in the TMs here? We also have Will-O-Wisp. Um, Charge Beam would be decent. Scald, I don't think we can teach anybody else. Uh, for the most part, I think we pretty much set up Rick Breaks decent, I guess. Shadow Ball already being used. Toxic as well. We'll, kinda, we'll, we'll hold off on those for now. But I do think having Stone Edge is pretty damn nice. Let's go ahead and bust out the hammer and break this bad boy. And we also grab a blue shard. That's cool. Donna be running at me. And that's Spooky Plate. So it raises the power of ghost moves, which could be good for Ranja. But uh, we're going to leave the items be for now. Go ahead and mash A about a thousand times to use the strength gloves. There's items all over this damn place. And it's a Moonstone. So... Were we, were we waiting for a Moonstone for something? Well, we have one now, so. I assume we got to be close to the new city now. Okay, there's an, another cave entrance there, and then one to the north as well. Which one are we looking for here? We did catch a Jewel Tall last episode. I am considering switching Charlotte out for this Jewel Tall. Seems, like seems like a good swap. Um, let's go through this one and see where this goes. That's uh, just a trainer. When I win, please show me the exit. <laughs> You're standing, like, right in front of it. Boy, you dumb as hell. Arnie here has a Moose Strike, level 42. Um, we're going to make sure that this thing doesn't bust out anything crazy. We'll spike his shield, hope to get some damage also. Oh, fuck, it's just going to bide. Okay. I think we're, we're alright. Storing some energy. It, uh... Wait, Poison Jab doesn't fucking affect this thing? Hello? <laughs> I did not even know that. Well... Protect itself from the bide that wouldn't do anything because, you know, it didn't get attacked. So that's fine. I Bulldoze was obviously the best option here. Should probably just be sticking to Bulldoze, to be honest. So, freaking Steel-type Moose Strike boy over here. Your speed fell. And still storing energy. Why is a level 42 Pokemon using bide these days? What is this? Freaking Route 2. Bunch of experience. Next, it is an Explonade, which we can just probably bulldoze this thing as well. Um, what is this, Steel Fire type? You, you don't like bulldoze at all. Donna be coming in clutch. I'm really glad that I caught this thing. Finding this shiny was the best damn thing that ever happened to me. Arnie says, no. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot to go on in here. We do grab a Dragon Fang, though, so that's kind of cool. Um, other than that, no, we can head to the right. False alarm. I thought this was just kind of like a little small area. I really should need to stock up on super repels. That would be real nice. But for now, we're just going to run. And there is another person here. So we might as well battle everybody that we can. We do definitely need some experience because uh, I have heard that the upcoming sections of this game are pretty difficult. Especially since we know we have a rival battle. And we got to battle the dragon, dude. Taking a break from exploring the ruins, huh? Well, that is not the spirit. This guy's got three Pokemon. You got an Eclipser. Level 41. We're not afraid of these damn Eclipsers anymore. It's got Cloud 9 for some reason. There ain't even no weather. We have to worry about that. You know, bulldoze yo steel ass. And wow, he lived it with like 1 HP. What is this? You're not supposed to live that. What the fuck? It's gonna future sight, which... It's a little bit spooky. We'll switch Donna out because we don't want to take a psychic attack. <laughs> and uh, we do grow to 49, though, so we're getting there. Almost 50. Trying to learn Drill Run. Ooh. Uh, what's the difference? Drill Run being 80 power. It does have 95 accuracy. Critical hits land more easily. Uh, Bulldoze being 60. Let's get rid of Bulldoze. We have to worry about that little miss chance, but heck it. That's pretty cool. Okay, next is the Jewel Tall. We will just switch out here. Let's go into... Don't have much that wants to deal with Jewel Taunt, especially since Happy doesn't really like Rock. I mean, we could probably kill it with just a Skull, but we'll go into Marvin. Seems pretty safe. Power Gym is its best option. We're just going to Psy Sock you. Psy Sock you. Psy, Psy Shock. Psy, Psy Shock. And Signal Beam. Oh my fucking god, Critical hitted me. Marvin. <laughs> no. I wasn't even thinking about 
signal beam at all. I figured we could at least take... To, bruh. Marvin has been compromised. Dude, that is such bullshit because we would have been able to live it if it wasn't a critical hit. Dude. Why did I switch... I switch out Donna because of the future sight. Does, it, does that even still take effect after the... Dude, that is so incredibly upsetting. Fuck. Well, we're gonna switch into Donna here. Dude. <laughs> no. Marv. I am so sad right now. I don't even... Okay, Power Gem doesn't hurt Donna at all. There's the future side attack. No, now I switched. No, it failed? Oh, did it fail because the thing fainted? I didn't know that's how that worked. That's really good, though, because that future sight probably would have hurt really bad. Fucking Jewel Tall got me, man. I should not have switched in Marvin there. It was a bad call on my end. I was afraid of the future sight. Damn, God fucking damn it. A Tatamotaro. No idea what the hell this thing is. Uh, let's go into Dracula. It's probably like a rock type, though. Have we seen this before? Hello? No, we have not. What in the world is this thing? We're going to crunch it. No, not very effective. Fucking damn it. Okay, it still does over half, though. Now it's going to discharge. Yep, it's electric type. Don't fucking kill me. Jesus. So worried about critical hits these days, man. One more crunch. Does do the trick, though. So. Damn it, man. First Pokemon I've lost in a while. And it is a pretty big hit, considering it was almost level 50. You hate to see it. Bruh. Super powerful electric type is now dead. I should probably, like, heal everybody up. I, I did not think that this section of the game was going to take so long. I thought we were going to get to the city, like, relatively soon. But it seems like we still got a lot to do here. We're going to lemonade you. We're going to lemonade you. 69 points. That's our last lemonade. Um, we do have some max potions. And then other than that, just hyper potions, I think. Unless I have supers. Nope, just... I have a berry juice, which... Pretty much useless, so we're just going to actually just use a Hyper Potion. And damn, I only mean going to have seven of these left. I should have stocked up on some more of these. Like I said, I didn't think that we were going to be... So far from the next city. There's a lot that's gone on. Okay, let's go through here. And this just leads into actually just a new area where there is a trainer, though. I think this way is a dead end, so it's time for a battle. Okay, so it does look like we have to head left. I know that the left way is the way we're supposed to be going to the next city, but... Heckin' Linus here. Got another one of these things, which seems like it would have levitate. We know it's a electric boy. Let's try to drill run it. Yep, it has fucking levitate. Of course it does. Now it's just gonna rapid spin, which has the super effective sound, but uh, does nothing. Obviously, now you're gonna switch out and go into Explonade. Why would you? Okay, predicts the poison jab. My God, what a legend! Absolute legend. Drill run though is gonna kill you, so your prediction. It's freaking useless, but yo, big prop for that. And there's the aftermath. We gotta be careful. I gotta remember that these things have aftermath. If I ever am at low health and kill that, it's gonna be a bad time. Okay, next is this damn thing again. So you can't switch into a steel type this time, buddy. Oh fuck, I accidentally clicked drill run again. I thought I was on, I meant to slide over to Fucking damn it. Okay, that's gonna lower my special defense. But what does this thing even have for me? Um Lowers that special defense. We're just going to poison jab. I, th I don't think it has... Oh my god, it's ste a fucking steel electric type. <laughs> now it gyro balls. Bruh. This is the wor worst thing ever. Well, you know what? Then we're switching into Ranja. And a flamethrower should do the trick. <laughs> Dude. This could not be going any worse. Gyro ball doesn't hurt me at all. And we can just kill ye with a flamethrower. But, bruh. As long as we don't lose anybody else, I'll feel like we're in a decent position here. Next is the Moose Strike. Um, for Moose Strike, let's just let's just go into let's go into freaking Happy. Happy is always a safe option. Moose Strike is that the uh, that's that damn Steel type thingy. We're gonna give you a bulldoze then. How about that? Wide Guard. Ooh, that kind of an interesting animation. Heck, your Wide Guard though. Always trying to use bide. What is your deal, Moose Strike? 
Is that all this thing can do? It's gonna drop its speed. All we gotta do is hit you with one more of these. Still storing its damn energy. And alrighty then. Young Strikey boy, been defeated. We are gonna get a bunch of experience from that. Close to 51, dead end. This is quite the dead end, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, this goes just down and then there is an item. So we get ourselves a free dire hit, which is dumb. And wow, that was weird. I ran into a Pokemon. Whoa, hello there, Miss Tablet. Look at this Aegis Slash Shield version looking ass motherfucker. It has download too. Dude, this would have been a really cool thing to find. That was my first encounter. There is two items this way. We find an escape rope, which is cool. And then TN49 for ancient power. So very interesting. Let's probably switch up the lead here. Let's put um Let's put Ronda in front. I'm really kinda worried though. Being level 47, I feel like you're not high enough. We need to we need to grind. <laughs> At least grind Ronja up, but Okay. So that way was just literally a dead end. There's nowhere for us to go in this side of the cave. Or this north cave area. So we just gotta head to the left. And then freaking hopefully that's gonna take us to the new damn city. Let's play him throw with this Draki bat though. How about that? Bat. He's gonna bump us up to 48. Feel a little bit more safe having in 48. Ooh, trying to learn Inferno. Uh, so Inferno being 100 base power, it does only have 50% accuracy though, so we're just going to go ahead and give up on that. Because we are not gamblers. I, I mean, that would be nice. We have a really high power, but... Fook that. Get out of here, Golemo. Alrighty then. Oh my god, another wild book. I, I seriously need to stock up on items so badly. Jackie Bat, get out of my damn way. I guess the good news about Marvin going down, if there is any good news, is that we can grab somebody else to add to the team, which is cool. Also, let's take a damn look at the Poke Gear here. Where are we even? Are we close to the... Okay, we just gotta literally go left, and then we arrive in Rassic City, so... Of course, a wild Pokemon stops us in our tracks right before... It looks like we just have one more trainer battle before we arrive into the next city, so... This shall be interesting. Hey, one little one little battle before you enter Rassic City, okay? This is probably going to be a hard one, because it always seems like when they just give you one last battle before the next city, it's always tough. Although, you just got a, a Golemo, so 42. We don't really want to mess with this thing. I don't want to take a rock attack and just get fucked. Uh, probably not the best idea to send in an ice type when I'm expecting a rock move, but okay, yep, there's the rock slide. Oh my god, that did way too much. But does my Scald even kill it? Oh my god, no. We're going into Donna. I, <laughs> we're not risking anything here. I thought we would be able to at least take two attacks from that thing, but... Donna can handle it. I should probably heal up, though, because you never know what the hell these things are going to throw at you. And, uh, we are going to use a Hyper Potion. So how about that? Donna seems pretty... It's always a great ma safe matchup for us. I'm just going to continue to rock slide. That's, that's totally fine. And you can catch this drill run, which we are running out of PP for. Like I said, it has been so long since the next freaking... Since the last city. Like, what the hell? I need... Nur My mons need freaking nourishment. Happy is level 51 now. Next is a, a Dracubat. You know what? Let's just stay in on the Dracubat. Donna can just absolutely stone edge the living shit out of this thing. How do you like that on your wings, buddy? Poke some damn holes in there. So, uh, Batty Boy goes down. Bunch of experience. Too strong for me. And, uh... We're gonna head this way. Which leads us to Rassic City. So, guys, we are gonna end the episode here. Next time, we're gonna see what Rassic City's got for us. We do have to bury our dead buddy Marvin, but we get to grab somebody new. So, so that should be fun. But, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.